Hi everyone, my name is Ashu and I lead the Worldwide Partners team for Resilience. And I'm here with Chris. Chris, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Uh, Chris Scott, I'm part of Accenture Managing Director. I am our lead architect of our Accenture AWS business group and I lead our delivery team here in North America. Wonderful, it's great to have you here. I hope you're having a great reInvent. Yeah, it, I've been to all the reInvents. It keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. It's a, it's a great event. Wonderful, no, it's great to have you here and thank you so much for your sponsorship as always. I just wanted to dive and dig deeper around resilience. Uh, I think one of the one first questions that I have is that, how do you define resilience and how does it matter for Accenture's end customers in the market? Now, I look at resilience a couple different ways. It's, it's one, ensuring that we can thwart any security attacks uh, on an application. It's how do we meet the demands on that application? And then how do we also support the system reliability and the requirements that we have from our business uh, and our customers' businesses on those applications? So make sure it's up when they need it and we can restore it when it's necessary. I mean, for sure, downtime seems expensive to me. So yeah, I think, I think your mind is in the right place when you say uptime is, is super critical. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what are your thoughts about the new AWS resilience competency and Accenture's involvement with it? Do you think AWS services can help you build better offerings and practices? Oh, absolutely. I, I love the focus on resiliency. I, I think it's really important. I've been working in AWS since the early days, and I think how things have changed. It's really important that when we first started looking at just infrastructure, we talked about resiliency is a platform element. Now we're able to talk about resiliency in an application level, and I think that that's a lot different. The focus that AWS is also putting on resiliency I think is really important. Uh, I'm an architect by trade. I, I love building great applications and, and uh, systems for our customers, and I think it's really important to have resiliency baked into everything that we do. So I love that AWS has the competency and it's a badge of honor for us to be able to be part of the program as well. We are super proud to have Accenture as one of our, I would say, you know, most prestigious competency partners, so thank you for that. Uh, one question comes to my mind, right? When you think of resilience, how do you think technical resilience um, is important to customers? Well, I think it's really important. And as architects, I think often we want to establish the most technically resilient, most amazing application architected in the right way, but obviously there's a cost to that. And I think that there's a balance when we talk about technical resiliency, it's balancing it with the value element to make sure that we're building applications in a responsible way uh, to the value that that application provides to the business, but also leveraging AWS services in the right way, putting them together to achieve whether you need in-region resiliency or multi-region uh, uh, resiliency. That's really important when you define in looking at. Wonderful, I'm, I'm glad you brought up the topic of like multi-region because I think that's most of our customers are asking for it. Yeah. So that's a great topic. And just like as part of your customer conversations, how do you think resilience has evolved? I think it's becoming a little bit more at the forefront of the conversation. There's very few customer conversations do I have. They start off saying, so tell me about resiliency. It's more about what's the end goal, the value that we're delivering, but resilience is one of the things as architects that we need to build into the application from the beginning to make sure it's part of what we do. But nowadays, I think it's becoming more of the forefront of the conversation about site reliability and ensuring that we are meeting the targets not as a platform, but as an individual application layer as well. That, that's great to hear. Can you dig a little deeper when you say that, you know, it's about the application layer. What are really customers asking for? Is it about the uptime? Is it about highly available environments? Yeah, I think, I think it's really about both. And uh, I'm excited when we talk to customers, we start defining and thinking about traditional DR with RTOs and RPOs and trying to achieve those yeah. uptimes. Now we can go back and really redesign the application a little bit to meet a flexible level of resiliency and not a this predefined t-shirt size of RTO, uh, real-time uh, objective, and uh, RPO. So I think it's really important that now we're able to dig in a little bit more, talk about individual applications, and meeting their needs, and not worrying about all of the platform capabilities that we also need to establish. Well, that, that's super informational, and I think, I think we're hearing this a lot from our customers, that they're moving more and more towards how do they make their applications resilient, how do we make sure that their workloads are resilient. So it was super, super helpful. Thank you for sharing your time and insights with me. Yeah, absolutely. Glad to have you. Thanks Thank for you having so me. much.